You're about to watch me lose 20 pounds in six days. At this point, this stuff is taking weight loss to a whole nother level. It's burning through the back fat, the leg fat, the neck fat. This is a fat burner like no other. I quit. I'm waving a white flag like I quit. This is crazy how fast this burns fat. Why do y'all be doubting me? Some of y'all be in the comments like literally doubting what I'm doing. Like, she ain't, it ain't the right amount of time. She lying, she lying. Is it just... I mean, and it helps to melt away the fat. Alrighty, guys, gals, non-binary pals, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Before we get into it, if you've been enjoying these videos, a thumbs up really does help the channel. I've been appreciating that a lot. It helps the videos get out in the algorithm. Today, we are going to be talking about a YouTuber that we've actually talked about in the past, and I actually have a little bit of history with this person, but we are going to be talking about Keisha Rose. For those of you unfamiliar with Keisha, she is a weight loss YouTuber, I put that in quotes, but in the description of all of her videos, she writes, Tired of being fat? I post videos on my channel with helpful weight loss tips that will help you jumpstart your weight loss journey and will have you well on your way to long term weight loss. Now all of that sounds great, but from what I've seen in practice, it doesn't seem to be like that's what is happening on the channel. The way that I found out about this YouTuber, I was actually um, streaming at the time and I was getting sent her video where she claimed that she lost 10 inches overnight using Vicks Vapor Rub and, and spreading it on her belly. I am this snatched overnight using Vicks Vapor Rub. Have my um, plastic wrap right here, and I have my Vicks right here, and then I have my waist trainer right here that I'm going to be putting on all for tonight. Don't do as I how that saying that. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. I'm not gonna wrap too much of this around me because I don't know. I'd be afraid of bacteria and all of that kind of stuff. And this sweatband is the bomb. It barely fit right now, and this is a size large. Good morning. Last night was hectic. I feel like a stuffed potato this morning. Y'all look how much smaller already. And my stomach look kind of like weird. Oh. So when I saw that, I was like, that's ridiculous. And I made a video talking about that video. 10 inches. So you're, you're telling me that you lost 10 inches overnight because you used Vicks Vape? No. And then she responded, and in her response, one, it, <laughs> it was very disingenuous, in my opinion, as well as the, the best part of the response was her, like, her gotcha moment was she went back to one of my old videos and said, look, he did the same thing without actually telling her audience that the video that she pointed out was literally me using one of those uh, It Works wraps and for getting rid of loose skin. And the entire video was me talking about how ridiculous these products are and how you should not be using them. And you know, they shouldn't be trusted. Look at the title of this video, getting rid of loose skin with wraps. You... Listen, hold on. Now we're getting somewhere. He literally. What'd you do today? As you guys can see, <laughs> it's no words. This guy literally talked about me, talked about my title of my video in his video when he did the exact same thing. There you go. I don't need to go any further. The point of the video was talking about how ridiculous these things are. The the in so she brought up this video saying that I'm a hypocrite where in the video I'm literally bringing the thing up and saying how ridiculous it is. So that all happened about a year ago and recently I've actually been getting sent more of her videos from you guys and it seems like the claims are just getting more and more <laughs> intense and ridiculous and honestly more and more dangerous as well and to me this is, this is what I, I'm a 
big part of the weight loss fitness space. It's something that's incredibly important to me. And it's something that I hold very near and dear, dear to my heart. And when I see people taking advantage of others and making a ton of money off of that, I have a problem with it. And so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Something that is really interesting to me is finding out how did someone get to the point that they are at now, right? So I did a little bit of research on Keisha and it seems like she's had a few channels. This channel currently that we're gonna be talking about today has been around for like about seven years. And so I looked through, you know, the catalog of videos. It doesn't look like it starts from where the actual first video was uploaded. It looks like there were some deleted, but it's very clear and you can see how the channel has changed over time. And so there was a lot of mukbangs, there was a lot of like vegan stuff, there was a lot of family stuff, there was a lot of just a ton of different things that kind of she put out there. She also had weight loss videos as one of these things. They didn't do anything particularly crazily well up until uh, 2020 where she uploaded her still most popular video and I decided to watch this video and it is one of the craziest things I think I have ever seen on this website. So I've pulled up the video here and the title of it is How I Lost Back Fat, 40 Pounds and Belly Fat in One Month by Changing One Simple Thing. Now, if you can see, this video was uploaded at the very end of 2020 and it has 3.3 million views. Now I am going to, we're going to watch this video. I'm going to watch it live. I'm not sure how much I'm going to actually put in the edited video, but I think it's really, really important that we watch this video because this video changed the trajectory of her channel. And a lot of the videos that you see afterwards and the videos that we're going to be talking about follow a very sim similar formula to this video. So without further ado, let's find out how I lost back fat, 40 pounds, and belly fat in one month by changing one simple thing. I wonder what the simple thing is. Hey boos, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new, if you are new. Hello, my name is Keisha. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on your way out. If you enjoy content like this, also hit that post notification bell so you will be notified every time I post a video. In today's video, you are about to get schooled. If you want to lose some back fat, you want to lose some belly fat, I am about to tell you how to blast through that stuff just how I did. You guys, Listen, we know you cannot spot reduce fat, yada, yada, yada. We it's interesting that at the start of this video, she says, we know that you cannot spot reduce fat, yada, yada, yada. When literally the, the title of this video is making that seem like it is definitely possible. Just something I noticed. So you can't take a part on your forearm or somewhere on your body and say, oh, I want to spot reduce this fat. I'm about to hit this fat or this arm fat right here. I'm about to work out and get that. No, unfortunately, the body doesn't work like that. And we would look really crazy if we could spot reduce fat on our body. There is a but though. There is a but. But if you want to learn how to get into a calorie deficit because you need to be in a calorie deficit in order to lose any weight on your body at all, don't let anyone tell you otherwise because that's just mad crazy talk okay if you want to learn how to get into a calorie deficit so it's interesting here she says if you want to lose weight you have to be in a calorie deficit don't let anyone you know trick you with any sort of crazy talk it seems like you know this was uh, over two years ago now it seems like the uh the tune has changed quite a bit since this video was released it. Click this video right here after you finish watching this video. And if you want to learn how to count calories and look at the labels and read the calories so you won't fall into that triggerization that companies try to have you fall into to, to stay fat, hit this video right here once you're done watching this video. Okay, so we can't, ca we can't, we can't spot reduce fat. We know that, right? But what we can do is help speed that process up of the weight loss in the area that we want to lose weight in. Where so she says right here, and this is the crux of the whole video, right? We can't spot reduce fat, but then we can speed up losing fat in particular areas. I don't know if it's just me, but that sounds very similar. <laughs> like you can't spot reduce, but you can speed up the process of losing fat in particular areas. I hate to break it to you, but that sounds basically like spot reducing. 
wear a sweatband of some sort. That's what I did. And I noticed a humongous difference. By the time I was done with my workouts, sweat was falling off of that sweatband. So I'm telling you guys. So another thing, this is something we hear a lot of people that like the sweatbands are like, oh, I wore the sweatband and I definitely was thinner in that area. That's not you losing any fat. You are dehydrating that part of your body. And so you've sweat a lot more in that area. I cannot stand the stupid Instagram videos of people finishing a workout and taking a sweatband off and they're sweating on their abs and they're like oh my god I had such a good workout you're all you are doing is sweating more in a specific area so now there's not as much water in that area so it looks thinner the second you drink some water it's all going to go back you are not spot reducing or getting rid of any fat in that area or not accelerating it at all it's very important just throw on a sweatband. That's a simple step that you probably don't hear nobody else talking about, but that's really helpful. I know for sure it's helpful. I did my research, okay? If you are not plant-based, you can go to any lean. I recommend lean sources of protein. If you are a plant-based eater, there's so many sources of protein. I'm talking about tofu. So the, the next tip is eat protein when you are losing weight to help with gaining muscle. Yeah, that's a good tip. I, it's interesting because again, the title of this video is how I lost back fat, 40 pounds and belly fat in one month by changing one simple thing. Hopefully we find out what that simple thing is. You know, that's all I'm, that's all I want to find out. Tempeh, edamame, chickpeas, any beans, so many different things, okay? You guys can Google this stuff. After your workouts, you can grab some bars that you can eat, pop in your mouth real quick, that have t tons and loads of protein in it. You guys, if you don't know what bars to get, get you a Bilt Bar. These are so good. This one right here next to me that I had just randomly sitting next to me. This is their Lemon Almond Cheesecake Bar. So many. <laughs> this, dude, I'm sorry. Beautiful. Beautiful sponsor clip here. <laughs> this is just a, so weird, this built bar here. Use my code 20% off, oh, it's so crazy. I can't believe that it's right next to me. Wow, so strange. Different bars that taste good, 20% down below if you guys wanna check this out. Super good, super, super high in protein. You don't wanna go too crazy with the protein because your body doesn't require a whole bunch of protein, but you do want a good amount. What people do not realize, stay your behind away from salt, that refined, just white salt that's plant in that blue little thing that you can get at Walmart or any other store. Stay your behind away from that salt. You shouldn't be eating that salt even if you're not trying to attack back fat. Even if you so this is something you hear a lot of people that are trying to lose weight, they really demonize sodium or salt. Salt is not a bad thing for your body. Your body needs salt. Like if you have, a, if you are eating a ton of sodium and salt, you are going to hold on to water weight a lot more. So yeah, that will make it so the scale doesn't change. But by eating a lot of sodium or a lot of salt, that is not going to increase your body fat percentage. It's just gonna increase the weight that you see on the scale. So a lot of people demonize salt and it's, it's frustrating because your body, you literally need salt to survive. If you're not trying to lose weight, stay your behind away from that salt, okay? You do need salt. You need some high quality pink Himalayan sea salt, some type of salt that's high quality. You, do you don't need high quality pink Himalayan sea salt. Your body actually, the, the reason that salt is iodized is because our body needs the iodine and a lot of, it's hard to get that in your diets. So a lot of people, that, that's the reason it's added to salt. And so a lot of people, again, it's the demonization of the, you know, the basic salt and you need to get the more expensive pink Himalayan sea salt or whatever. It's just, it's, you don't need to have that. If you don't have that, it's okay. <laughs> You want that in your diet because it helps with minerals and different things like that. But let's attack salt real quick, okay? What people don't realize is salt will bloat you up really bad. It will make you look 10 pounds heavier than you even look in the first place. Those back rows that you got, it will make it look like big fat donuts on the back of your back. Is that what you want? No. So stay away from that salt, okay? <laughs> Basically, salt just bloats you up. You only need a little bit of salt to salt the top of your food, and that's that. If you don't stay away from salt, if you don't stay away from that type of salt, them, them back rows ain't going nowhere. In the, they're not going nowhere, okay? It's not true. I mean, I eat a lot of salt every single day. And yes, I work out a lot, but if 
if you eat a lot of salt, it's not the end of the world. It's just, I just get frustrated when I see people like demonizing this stuff. So why are you watching this video in the first place? If you love salt more than you like getting rid of them back rows, get off this video right now because this ain't for you, okay? Okay, now it's time for me to show you guys the workout. So this is <laughs> this part of the video. We I have to show it to you. This is the 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 workout that helped her get rid of back fat, okay? And belly fat and 40 pounds in one month, apparently. This is the workout. And again, just please just let's let's watch it. That's I did to get rid of this back fat and stomach fat. Um, now these videos are videos I just put together myself and just made myself a customized workout plan. So surprise, you guys are getting it to getting exactly what I did to lose the fat. Now I started off with HIT and that's high intensity interval training and I did that for 17 minutes and then I went into my burnout after the HIT workout with some resistance training and this that you guys see her doing right here. I didn't use the weight that she used I just used a 10 pound weight I didn't want to overexert myself but I did it on each side for 30 it's <laughs> it's funny because she says I I didn't want to overexert myself I, I used the 10 pound weight when you look at this kettlebell it says eight pounds so she was using more weight than the person in this video <laughs> but whatever that's besides the point seconds I would rest for about 15 seconds 20 seconds was the max and then I would go back and hit it again and I did that three times over and this what you guys see her so the first exercise that we saw that will be hitting your back these that are being shown on stream these are lateral raises these are not for your back this is for your shoulder okay I just want to point that out doing right here I did that 50 times and then I would rest and then do it again 50 times and I did that three times over this one right here was 30 Again, this is the same exact exercise just with a different implement instead of using resistance bands You're using dumbbells Depending on the resistance and how light the weights was and or the resistance band it just depends and you guys do it at your own pace but the goal is just to hit those back muscles hard again you're not hitting your back muscles while you're doing this exercise really really hard because you want that back to be chiseled and the more chiseled that back is the more that you have a chance at burning and blasting away that back fat now so she says right there the more chiseled and like muscular your back is the more chance you have of burning that back fat N no <laughs> Like muscle and fat are two different things. You do not turn fat into muscle and you can't, uh, bur you can't, muscle doesn't all of a sudden after you're not using it, turn into fat. It doesn't work like that. There are two separate things. Now this right here, this worked the arms. <laughs> that what she was doing in the chair, worked the arms and probably the back too. I don't know. I how? So she says, again, this video is how, this is what you need to do. And then, oh, this this works the arms and probably the back too. I don't know. <laughs> if you don't know, why would you? Oh, man. This, what's being shown on screen, does work the back. These are rows. I was just trying to get it in any way that I could. And these are all the exercises that I did that I just want to show you guys that I did. And this right here, same thing. 30 times, took a break, did it over again, three times over. And that pretty much was the uniform of workouts that I was doing over and over again. Push-ups, I cannot stand push-ups, but I had to do it. I know that's a part of hitting your back, but with the push-up. Did you hear that? We're going to we're going to replay that that part right there about the push-ups, okay? Push-ups. Over again. Push-ups, I cannot stand push-ups, but I had to do it. I know that's a part of hitting your back. But push-ups are for your back. What? I, this is a first for me. Push-ups are part of hitting your back. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. But with the push-ups, I only did 15 push-ups would get up, do 15 more would get up, and do 15 more. I did that three times over. But with the weights, as you guys can see here, is she doing is she's doing with the weights, I was able to kind of just like blast through. These are Arnold's press, again, for shoulders, not your back. 
over that with some light weights. But those push-ups, when I tell you guys, they really got me. I cannot stand them. And if you do not like push-ups, don't do them if you don't want to. But these things, what I'm showing you guys, is what helped blast away my back fat. And I was super diligent. And doing the, these things is what got my body from this to this in 30 days what so that's the claim right there right so my body went from this what to that in 30 days I, okay i just find it very strange one thing that's very interesting is why would you not just show yourself doing the exercises? Why are you showing random people doing these exercises? It would make much more sense if you showed yourself, right? Like it takes two seconds to film yourself. I find that incredibly strange, but we're gonna keep going. So you guys watch this video as many times as you need to, to get the workouts that's in here, along with the tips. I promise you, come back to this video after you follow these steps. Give yourself one month and then let me know in the comments how it worked out for you. And as I promise you guys, I have a free gift for you guys. This is something you're not going to get anywhere else, okay? You're not going to get it anywhere else, all right? So listen up. Down below in the description box, there's a link that you can click that you can download your free meal plan that was created by me. There's a video along with it. If you don't know how to cook, there's a video right along with it that you can watch that I cook the meals and break down the calories for you guys. There's a shopping list included with this download. You can download it right to your phone, print it out and have it in hand, or you can keep it in your phone and use it that way. So you guys go ahead and download that link and come back to this video once you guys try these steps. And I promise you it'll work. I don't even have to ask you if it's going to work. It's going to work, okay? So that's the video right there. And again, the title of it is How I Lost Bag Fat, 40 Pounds, and Belly Fat in One Month by Changing One Simple Thing. But sadly, we don't seem to ever find out what that one simple thing is because this video is just full of bad information and even worse workouts. But again, I wanted to show you that video because that video obviously did incredibly well for her. And then it seemed like that became the template for a lot of the videos that we're gonna, we're gonna be talking about in this video. Now, one thing I think that's important to bring up is it seems like if I've read through a lot of the comments, it seems like a lot of people have issue with the fact that, now Keisha doesn't hide this, but she has had at least four different surgeries that I, I think she's talked about. So two different breast augmentations, a uh, tummy tuck, as well as a Brazilian butt lift. Now, I'm not saying whether or not that happened and that's why this transformation is so crazy, but I do think that when you are posting a video like this where you're you're showing this insane transformation, especially when in the video you start talking about how you don't wanna have loose skin, I think it's it's definitely a, a good thing to do, at least a, a kind thing to do, to mention like, hey, I've had co cosmetic surgeries, and whether or not you think that that is going to affect that before and after, I think it's important just to give people the correct expectations if they are going to actually doing the, you know, give doing that advice that you are giving in the video. So when I say she found something that works and then ran with it, these are some of the videos that are on her channel right now. So if you can't lose weight, watch this. How I lost 15 pounds in seven days. No strict diet, no workout. How I lost 50 pounds in two months, weight loss journey. How I lost 60 pounds during quarantine, weight loss journey. Client results. How I, how, how I lost back fat, draw bowls in 50 pounds in one month by changing one simple thing. Salt water flush. I lost eight pounds in three inches in three hours, 2021. We're gonna go over that one in a little bit. How I lost belly fat overnight with Vicks Vapor Rub. How I lost back fat, 40 pounds in belly fat. 40 pound weight loss in two months. How to lose weight fast. Lose double chin fast. How I lost my double chin in days by doing this. How to get rid of double chin. Slim arms fast. I did this for seven days and lost five arms. Slimmer arms in seven days. No equipment. I tried the three day water fast and this happened. 15 pounds in one, one week. Shocking results of how to lose weight fast, weight loss journey. 
It's official. 100 pounds down in eight months. Mind-blowing. 100 pound um, weight loss transformation. 30 pounds in 30, 30 days. 15 pounds down in four days. Must watch. 20 pounds down in five days. No clickbait. Must watch. Need to lose weight? Watch this. 40 pounds in two months. How to lose weight fast? 22 pounds down. I tried drinking coffee and lemon for weight loss. I lost weight. 30 pounds down. I tried drinking coffee and uh, coffee and lemon for weight loss. Salt water flush. I lost eight pounds in three inches in three hours. 25 pounds down. Fast. Must watch. Weight loss journey. 20 pounds down in six days. Insane results. 2022 weight loss goals. So as I said, we are going to be talking about this video right here, which is titled Salt Water Flush. I lost eight pounds and three inches in three hours. This video, when I first saw it, I, I could not believe it. So the whole premise of this video is literally you make a drink with water and pink Himalayan sea salt. Apparently that's a very big deal. It has to be pink Himalayan sea salt. Kid you not, I'm nervous about this. I'm super nervous about this. I've um, seen people feel sick. I've seen people handle it well. And I just don't know how my body is going to react. My body is super sensitive to things. And that's simple how you make the sea salt water, you guys. First weight is 151.6. Okay, you guys, you can see here I have my salt water right here and you guys can see the salt has dissolved. But she drinks this drink and then literally throws up, is stuck in her bed, and then comes back after that, shows that she's lost weight and then is super happy about it and tells people they should try it out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You have to drink it in 15 minutes, but I'm not the type that drinks something nasty or eat something nasty and go back to it. I have to get it out the way. Ooh, I am done. My stomach hurt already, literally. I am feeling pretty crappy right now. I did throw up, which is crazy. I feel like I induced like some type of... <laughs> I self-induced some type of just sick feeling on myself. So what's really frustrating here is that one, obviously if something is making you feel that bad to where you have to one, throw up, and two, you are laying in bed feeling sick, probably shouldn't do that thing. And the other thing that's really important is that there, you do not need to detox your body at all. It is not necessary even a little bit. Okay, you guys, I'm two hours in. I feel so much freaking better. Like who throws up on a saltwater flush? It's crazy. I haven't seen anybody throw up. Okay, as you guys can see, this is my second weight, 143. As you guys can see, that is eight pounds I've lost in a matter of three hours. I literally start, started this video like three and a half hours ago at max. I was actually reading one of the top comments on her video, which is surprising that it's still up because she is someone that is notorious about deleting a lot of the comments. But one of the uh, top comments on this video is, be careful, don't do this frequently. I had to have an emergency appendectomy 20 years ago because I started doing this regularly. It can be harsh on the body. So this is something that literally can make you go to the hospital if you are doing it at any frequent basis and to just make a youtube video so you can lose a bunch of weight in you know a few hours is so incredibly dangerous and just unnecessary that it's it's just so it's just frustrating as someone that knows this stuff is BS. If you notice when you wake up in the morning, try weighing yourself at night and then try weighing yourself in the morning. You'll probably be a good five to six to three to two pounds, maybe even 10 pounds um, lighter in the morning than you are later at night. That's because, of course, you're eating throughout the day. Um, when you first go to the bathroom in the morning, you're cleansing your body out. Your body is feeling good. It's at its best and it's at the peak. So um. so it's interesting right here. And it seems like this seems to be the mindset of a lot of these videos. It seems like the lower weight you are, the better. So she talks about how in the morning after, you know, take a dump and take a piss, uh, you weigh a little bit less than you do in the rest of the day. And that that is true. It's not because you are detoxing your body. It's because you're taking a shit and you're taking a piss. And so you are getting rid of that stuff that is inside of your body. That does not mean that you are in optimal health in the morning. And then as you start eating and are no longer dehydrated because you aren't drinking anything in the at night that, oh, now I'm unhealthy because I weigh a little bit more. It's very frustrating seeing these types of, um, this type of rhetoric being pushed because it's not, one, it's not true. And it makes people want to do anything they possibly can to get 
get their weight lower every single day. And that might mean not drinking any water or drinking salt water or doing any sort of any any sort of these cleanses. They are not necessary. And and we saw here in her own video, this cleanse that she decided to do made her puke. And yeah, she lost eight pounds, but of course you did. You threw up like what? What do you think is going to happen? Of course you're going to lose weight. I, When I was sick and I was throwing up, I was at really low weight. That doesn't mean I was at optimal health at that moment. I felt like garbage because my body had no fluid in it. And so that's another thing that you see a lot in these videos. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. As of recently, I have been feeling very fat. And so I decided to weigh myself this morning. And this is the weight that I weigh right now. Pre-cleanse weight is 221.9. As you can see, that's a lot. I could not believe it. And so I went online and I found a thing to help me lose weight fast. And I'm gonna show it to you because I care about you. So what the name of this is called the Kaka Cleanse. So all you need is a bottle, and the cleanse. And so what I'm going to do now is fill this with water. As you can see, I am, I am filling it with water. So we have the water in the jar. Now you put in, now you put in the cleanse juice. This is it right here. Make sure you do a lot. There you go. And after that, you have to shake it up really good. Now I will drink this. Cheers. Oh, this is so gross. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh well, gotta do it for you guys. I will drink this now. Oh guys, I, I don't feel well from the cleanse and oh, I hope this works because I am in bed not feeling good. So it has been a few hours since that last clip and oh my gosh, I feel so much better now. Let me show you the results. Wow, I can't believe I lost that much weight on the the caca cleanse. That's crazy, 213.3. I cannot believe it. I lost almost 10 pounds in a few hours. I also have some before and afters so you can believe that this is real and not fake. So I'll put those on the screen now. So as you can see, this works very well. And because I am your friend and I care about you, I have a code for you. It is SCAM20 for 20% off the Kaka Cleanse. So if you would like to have results like me, use that code, make sure you use the code, make sure you use the code, use the code and then you will also have results. Thank you. So as I think I've shown, a lot of her videos are about losing a significant amount of weight in a short period of time, or just like losing a ton of weight in, in a short period of time, right? And I can you look at it two ways. Either there is some not truths being told here, which is wrong, or this is true and this person is doing incredibly fast, um, dangerous diets, right? Which both are a problem. Now, I think this actually goes into something that's a lot deeper and something that I, I think about quite a bit. When you are a weight loss YouTuber, you if you are successful, that is going to be a sh very short career because losing weight does not take that long, right? especially if you're not losing, you know, hundreds of pounds. But even if you are, that that has an end thing, right? You lose you start the weight loss and then you're eventually you lose it and then you're maintaining. But the people that are watching those videos after you've lost the weight, and I know because I'm I've I've dealt with this, people are no longer interested because your journey has come to an end, which is a good thing, right? So what do you do then? And it seems like a lot of people like if you like what I've done is I try to make content that's not just about my journey because I don't there's nothing else that I can say or what you could do is end up you know you kind of fluctuate and because 
once you're at the start again, people are going to want to watch you lose the weight. And then once you're at the start again, people are going to watch you lose the weight. And you just go up and down and up and down. And it seems like that's what's happening here. And it seems like um, this is a way for her to stretch out that, you know, that weight loss because – I would hope that the goal is to lose the weight and keep it off and not having to keep go, you know, stay on this crazy roller coaster that it seems like she's stuck on. Now, obviously, I believe that all of those claims and the the things that, you know, the, the kind of like the skeleton of all of those videos, I, I disagree with. The quick weight loss, very fast, you know, all that stuff I disagree with. But there's also other things like a lot of the sponsors, it seems like almost every video is sponsored by Teamy, which is one of those detox, poop your brains out teas. Um, some type of cleanse in me. I am a big fan of the Teamy Detox, okay? A detox will help you out, especially Teamy. You guys know I've been talking about them for years and years and years and it's something that I do when I feel extremely bloated. Uh, you know, there's like the Bill Bar sponsorship, which that's fine, um, but there's waist trainers. It just seems like any snake oil, which is what I like to say, um, is prevalent in a lot of her videos. I'm about to warm up for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna get right into my running. But there is one thing that I noticed in quite a few of her videos that when, when I started noticing it, I, I truly could not believe that this was happening on this YouTube channel. So what I am talking about here is that at the end of, I believe I counted 17 recent videos, 17 recent videos, she has a cabbage soup recipe that she puts at the end of each video. And that's like, you know, whatever. But this, this recipe is 10 minutes long at the end of these videos. And a lot of times these videos entire runtime is under 20 minutes. So more than half of the video is a cabbage soup recipe that has been put in 17 different videos. Now I know what she said in many, um, in many of, of her videos. And again, I wanna make it clear. It's, the ex it's literally cut and pasted at the end of videos. It's not like a redone version. It's literally cut and pasted at the end of these videos. This, this cleanses like this is so good. I am sold on this cabbage soup cleanse. I'm telling you guys, because it reset your taste buds, it shrink your stomach. Before you know it, you're not eating nearly as much as you would eat before. It's just so many different benefits that come along with this cabbage soup diet and i'm not ever even hungry on it okay. what she says is oh people are always asking me uh for this recipe so i just put it at the end uh so you guys don't have an excuse that cabbage soup cleanse that i've been talking to you guys about i've been leaving it at the end of every video and people probably wonder why and it's because people are asking me all the time where's the cabbage soup cleanse where's the cabbage soup cleanse so i don't want anyone to have any excuses which one is the re I think the reason that these are being put at the end of the videos is because it stretches the runtime of a video. The longer a video is, the more ad revenue you make on that video, which I think is kind of wrong. As well as, in my head, if that's really your reason, Keisha has tons of links in all of her descriptions. Why would you not just link the video in the description of any video where you end up talking about this cabbage soup recipe. But when I noticed that 10 minutes of a recipe in 17 videos, the exact same thing, I think it's very clear this person, their motives behind doing this. So here at the end of the video, I, I do wanna make it clear. I do think that Keisha has lost weight in the past. I'm not sitting here claiming that that never happened. Um, but I do believe that a lot of these methods are harmful and it is shameful to take advantage of a following. Now, the reason that this is such a big deal to me is because I am someone that has lost a lot of weight and I have a lot of people ask me questions daily. And I know how easy it would be for me to take advantage of that situation and take a paycheck from a company and just get and just rake it in because I know these people trust me and they are desperate to lose this weight. But I won't do that. 
because it's wrong. And it's so frustrating to me to see someone just go full into that. And it's frustrating again because before when we talked about it, she has changed her the way that she says things. So now she's very clear. Like, oh, this isn't about this isn't going to make you lose fat. This is just going to jumpstart your weight loss. It's just again, it's just another way to shield the same BS. And so I don't appreciate it and I am going to call it out. And if you want to call me a bully because of that, that's fine. I feel like, yeah, I've been a little bit harsh, but I haven't been overly mean in this video when I sometimes I wish I was because this stuff is so incredibly stupid one and just dangerous and it's frustrating when i read the comments and knowing that there were probably tons more comments of people saying this isn't real this isn't real that just get deleted constantly it's really really frustrating and i i genuinely felt after seeing all this stuff that i had to say something and so that's what this is um Keisha, if you end up watching this, I'm sure you'll try and get it taken down because I know that's something that you do pretty often. Um, if it's up, it's up. You know, I don't know. Maybe it will get taken down. But I really hope that you kind of like take a second and, and realize that like people that know about weight loss know that your titles, your thumbnails, um, they're BS, you know. And if you really do want to help people, there are other ways that you can do that instead of completely scamming your fan base and making up lies. But that's all I have to say. I'll see you next time.